Hello everybody, my name is Parak and in today's video I was asked to try to make a raw only build with the bow of course, so I did exactly that. I threw on a heaven sent set because I want infinite stamina and since we don't have berserk we won't be needing heaven sent for the infinite stamina. I've got my attack boost 3, element exploit 1 with 3, 2 slots. And if you're curious, I chose this bow because I tested this one and the Garbozo one. I'll throw it on the screen. This one came out with higher damage because it has a higher spread cap on its attack. This one reaches spread 5, the other one reaches spread 4, and this one did about 5 more damage with the shots. So I threw this one on instead, and I didn't need the extra slots. As you can see, I fit pretty much everything I wanted on here. We don't have dereliction, so there's no need for resentment, things like that. All these green numbers here are from decorations. And let's go test it against the Rathian, of course. I honestly have no idea how well or badly this will perform because uh, back in base rise, raw bow was the meta. Definitely not now because we have so much access to really strong element skills, but it'll be interesting to see how much this does in comparison, I guess. So uh, let's go fight our Rathian girl, of course. Got my coatings. This bow also gets access to the, uh, the exhaust coating so we can get an easier stun. No, uh, blade scale. There it is. Thank you. Oh, that was adrenaline. That's fine. I don't have stamina. Come on, heaven sent, please. <laughs> We're just waiting on heaven sent here. So we can actually dodge some things consistently. But that's okay. Just do basic shots for now. Try to get blade scale. Thank you very much. There we go. Still no heaven sent yet. It's all good, though. There we go. Finally, we got heaven sent. Now we can do some damage. Start spamming away at the shots. Try to get another blade scale. Thank you. And that adrenaline rush, of course. Okay, it's actually doing some decent damage. I could also go for our stun immediately. Because we have her enraged, which is basically what you want when you're going for like stuns and knockdowns and stuff. You want them to be enraged because their hit zones get a little bit juicier. Put your face over here, please. Nice. Ooh, there's the part break. There's our stun. Now we swap to power. Okay, nice and easy like. I should have progressed up the uh, shots first, but that's okay. Before like spamming them out, that is. But we take those, it's definitely fine. Just a single shot. Right, it was a stun, so she takes a bit to get up. That's fine. Maybe, oh, okay. We'll take that. Free dam. Definitely take that free damage any day of the week. Gonna have to swap coding somewhat soon. Somewhat. The uh, dangos we're using a Helping me out quite a bit in maintaining power coating. Which we definitely like to see, because sometimes it has a chance to not consume the coating. Oh, that should have hit me. I'm not even going to lie. Try to get blade scale. Nice. There's adrenaline rush at least. So we get a little bit of damage out of it. There. There we go. Adrenaline rush again. And we're on the right coating now. As long as we hit the face, we should have a decent chunk of crit chance. I think it's like... I think we actually do reach 100% on this. As long as I've got max might active from having infinite stamina, we should be sitting pretty with that stuff. There. Oh, I didn't get it. That's unfortunate. I should have probably gone with Gorbozo just to get the uh, guaranteed blade skill because I could have fit in... Oh, actually, I could have... Damn. I definitely could have had level 3 blade scale. Now that I think about it. Because there is a... Uh, a 2 slot of the blade scale when I had a 4 slot available. So I definitely could have gotten Blade Scale 3. That would have been real nice with this. Just to get that extra damage. There. Okay. Nice. -oo. Get some more damage in. It's actually not doing too bad on the damage department. It's like a uh, consistent 100 per shot almost. Which is very, very solid. For sure. I also could have changed to the dogs here. Because obviously I don't need the... Uh, what's it called? The bats. And the knockdown isn't all that useful. Okay. There. There we go. Try go for exhaust. There we go. Nice knockdown. Easy stuff. Try get over to the face. Get some power shots going. Probably not get another stun. We will get the damage check though. We take those. Nice and easy like. Okay. I also didn't put the... Um, I know there's a blast bow. It's like the orangutan bow from uh, Blood Orange Bisherton. I don't think the actual uh what's it called um i don't think the blast element on it actually activates the build up boost that's why i didn't i think it's only from blast coatings 
Someone can correct me on that, but I think that's how it is. Let's use aerial aim because I'm out of stamina. Just just old strats. You had to use uh, like absolute power shots and things to maintain your stamina. Because we didn't have uh, infinite stamina back then. Okay. Get some basic shots in. Again, absolute power shots. Just to keep up the damage since we don't have stamina. There. Okay. Nice. Ooh. Should be active out of it. Nice. Try to get a blade scale. I was way too early. But that's okay. Another one. Again. Don't have stamina. So it comes in handy. Okay. Third one. Heaven sense active. Finally, we get some damage again. Just build up the hits real quick. Try to get blade scale. Didn't get it. Yeah, it would have been real nice to have it actually. Like the 100% activation chance. For sure. Okay. There. Get some shots. Turn and spin. Thank you. There we are. Another knockdown. Beautiful stuff. Try to get it over to the face. So, again, we can hit the face with all our shots. Nice and easy like. She's blue. Some more damn. No, the trample. Why off rip? That's so unlucky, actually. Okay, it just didn't do anything. Delightful. Oh, wow. That is so unfortunate. Of course, she trampled into a stun against the wall, which also cancelled my animation. Which also made it so I got hit immediately. That's real fun. I love playing a glass cannon without Berserk. That's why you run Berserk. Because Bo is so squishy. Okay, let's get some shots again. I love her, but why is Trample her favorite thing to do? Okay, just sit back here. There we go. Cheeky Adrenaline Rush. Of course that hit me. Gonna fail a damage check now. That's uh, that's real embarrassing for Bo, because definitely shouldn't be doing that. Okay, she's gonna pop off this. I had no stamina. Look at that damage! That is why you just run berserk. Goodness gracious. Just run berserk. You will have a much, much better time. Okay. Good god. Okay. Okay. That was so painful. Why? <laughs> why is bow like this? Why are the ranged weapons like this? And the answer is because they're really strong. And they deserve to get one tapped off everything. But yeah, that's why we run- that's why we run Berserk. We would have also kept infinite stamina the whole time if we had Berserk, because I would have stayed above 60% health. But yeah, there you go, that's a raw bow builds. It's fine. It's still a bow, so it's gonna kill them really quick regardless. Well everybody, that was making a raw bow build. Its damage was fine, it's honestly still a bow, it's still a ranged weapon, it's gonna do a lot of damage regardless what you give it. But yeah, I guess if any of you want to make a raw bow build, they can definitely work. It's just up to you what kind of bow you want to use and what shot type. As always though, thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you on the next one.